my people, sons and daughters of Helgan. For many years, we have been a broken nation, shunned, oppressed, and conquered by those we sought to escape. Ten years ago, I asked for time, and that time was granted by you. You, the strength in my arm, the holders of my dreams. Our forefathers embarked on the greatest exodus in the history of all mankind. An exodus for freedom. Helgan became that freedom. Our new world changed our bodies. At first, it weakened us. But in fact, we were growing stronger. In the time you have given me, I have rebuilt our nation. I have rebuilt our strength. And I have rebuilt our pride. Our enemies at home have been re-educated. We have given them new insights into our cause. On this day, we stand united once more. On this day, those driven to divide us will hear our voice. On this day, we shall act as one, and we shall be ignored. No more. General Adams, sir. We got multiple hell gas vessels approaching. What do we do, sir? Fire! Defenders of the Helgas dream, now is our time! Killed? Who are you? Private Sanchez, sir. Don't worry about those hell gas, sir. They're walking right into one of our minefields. Yeah! <laughs> Dead in their tracks! How long will the minefield hold them? Uh, not much longer, sir. They've been trying to find a way through all day. You know this area, Sanchez? Yes, sir. I've been covering the hell gas here since the whole thing began. But I've lost comms with the forward post on the ridgeback. Okay, Sanchez, you take point. We gotta stop the hell gas breaking through our lines and get us out of this alive. Yes, sir! Tell General Adams that the security key is on its way to me right now. I'll be shuttling up in, um... Within the hour, General. Yeah, within the hour. And I expect everything to be ready when I arrive. Yes, sir. Damn. Uh, it's good to see you, Yan. You too, General. What's happening out there? Are we holding? Well, it's impossible to tell with the comms as they are. But we're being attacked by the 3rd Helgen Army, led by a General Lente. If Helgas ships keep on flooding in with more troops, we may as well pack up right here, right now. <laughs> so much for taking them out of the sky before they land. Yeah. What's the latest with the SD platforms? Uh, General Adams is trying to get them operational again, but they need complete reprogramming. I have to get up there with a security key to override the control failsafe. I'm just waiting for the damn key to arrive before I head up for the shuttle. Any news from Earth? 
I mean, we're gonna need some heavy firepower to root these bastards out. Well, as we heard, they're sending the cavalry. We just have to hold out until I arrive. Jan, I... I had you brought here for a reason. A mission. I was hoping you'd... What's the brief? We have an infield operations agent working for us behind enemy lines. A Colonel Haka. A spy? Infield agent, Jan, so, um, yeah, a spy. Well, a few hours ago, we received intelligence saying he discovered information vital to our cause. He's joined an ISA platoon holed up in this mall, in the slums. And since then, we've heard nothing. We need him back, Jan, and quickly. The enemy want him, too. So I think our best chance is... A small team traveling quickly. I understand, sir. I'm on it. Are you okay, Jan? I'm organizing an evac. The security key didn't arrive. No, it never made it. I'll get it and meet you back here. Okay, head for the research unit. But be careful, Jan. They're swarming in. General? General Vaden! in my hands again, Templar. If you know what I mean. Luger. I take it you're back on active duty. <laughs> you think? Graduated six weeks early. It seems I have a talent. Yeah, one of many. I was meant to meet the general here. Instead, I get a sniper. Four snipers, actually. Vorton told me to meet you here, too. He said you'd brief me on our mission. Our mission? Trust the general to put practicalities ahead of, well, anything else. What do you suggest we do now? My, our mission is to recover an operations agent named Colonel Hacker. He's trapped somewhere in the slums. But the general needs this to get the SD platforms up and running again. So let's go find him. to me when there was even a hint of any progress. One hour I have been waiting without a visit. <laughs> You're about to tell me why. I'm sorry, General. We can't do a thing without General Vaughton's security key. Without it, the central processor... Do I need a lecture on the technical specs of these platforms? No. Because I run the damn things. General Vaughton has somehow managed to get himself lost. So we may not get the security key for some time, if at all. Surely a master technician of your caliber can find a way to bring the weapons back online. No. No? Well, do you believe in God? Or have you replaced him with some all-powerful technical device? Hmm? Well, whatever it is you pray to, I'd start praying now that Vaughton reappears. So, uh, you have much time for, uh, you know, fun during your training? What? Like beach volleyball and cocktail parties? No, I mean, did you make any new friends? And... Are you asking me if I got laid? What? No, no, jeez, I just... What's that? What's, the, what's what? That! Shit! Okay, any ideas? These won't touch it. Uh-huh. And there's no way round. Okay, just keep your head down. Yeah, motherfucker! Come and get it, Wally! Ah! Shit! Take the left! 
General! General, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Jan, did you get the security key? Right here, sir. But the command base is lost. Well, what's the situation out there now? Messy. We had trouble getting here. If it hadn't been for this guy... Sergeant Rico Velasquez, sir. Well, Sergeant, it seems these two owe you It's uh... the enemy who owe me, not these two. The hell gas scum wiped out my entire platoon, and they'll be paying off that debt in blood for as long as I breathe. Sir. I see. Well, a useful man to have at your side, Yan? Absolutely, sir. Sergeant, how would you like to join Captain Templar and Shadow Marshal Luger on a mission of great importance to the war? An assassin. Shadow Marshal. <laughs> This mission, it's gonna hurt the Hellgas. Very much so. I'm in. Okay. I'll go up to General Adams on the SD platform as planned. You three, find Colonel Hacker and get him to me as soon as possible. Executed in fucking hell gas style. <sighs> Jesus. <clears throat> This bullshit. Make sure he's okay. <sighs> oh, God. What is it? Motherfucking filthy little piece of shit! He's a hell ghast. Was a hell ghast. Hold it! Pinchy Hoto. Rico! Door cover! Fuck you. Rico! Well, it's him all right. We've got the right guy. You hell ghast? Half hell ghast. Half human. <laughs> I don't want to fucking imagine how that works. And you know who we are? I imagine you're here to take me away. Your name's Hecker. Yes. Whose side are you on, Hacker? My side. Shit. We'll see what side he's on when I've got this baby shoved up his papa's. General Vaughn has been found. He's on his way up with the security key as we speak. Well, that's something. Have everything prepared for his arrival. Stay close to him. Try to figure him out. He seems to be hot for you. Get over it, Yan. Yeah. Instructions are to get Hacka off Vecta as soon as. That means heading for the fortress and putting him on the next shuttle out of here. Fortress, huh? We're gonna need a boat. 
We'd better head for the docks. <laughs> Great seasickness. It's bad enough having to look at this mutant's face all day. Well, those of us with even remotely developed minds rise above the frailties of the flesh and cope with it. It's lucky for you that you hold some vital shit in your head, you bald fuck. He'll start rip it right off and shove it Enough. up your... off! Rico! Hacker! Play nice! The information I gathered from the Hellgars, I have to process it immediately. I need access to the mainframe. We don't have time for that. We gotta get you on one of those shovels. I need to process data. Here. Hey. Did you hear the captain? We're delivering the package. The package is you. What is it you need to do, Hacker? What? You're just gonna let some unknown freak hack into the mainframe? How do we know he's not a double agent, huh? What's to say he's not on the other side? And how many of the other side do you calculate I've killed in the past hour? <laughs> you bastards don't even give a shit about your own. <sighs> try it, scum. Come on, try it. Back. Off, bitch. If you fire, you know you're dead. That's it! Enough! Because it's a long way to the fortress, and our chances, even if we pull together, are somewhere between slim and nil. So for the last time, get your shit together and start acting like soldiers! Haka, what is it that can't wait? I found out that a computer on the SD platforms has come under the control of the Hellgast. Now, it's that computer they've used to shut down the defense systems. I need to identify it to inform General Adams. But to do this, I need to hack into the mainframe. All right. You got three minutes. General Adams is prepared and waiting for you, General. Hacker? Nearly there. Hacker! Time's up! Got it. But it can't be. What? What is it? It can't be. General? General? I suggest we get on with it. As you wish. Computer under Helgar's control. It's General Adams' personal computer. Very good. I understand you've prepared everything for the reprogramming of the defense systems. You've got that 100% A1 correct, General. What's the meaning of <laughs> The meaning? The meaning is you lose. Traitor. Yeah, whatever. Kill him. done well, General. I will ensure that Scholar Vissari hears of your efforts. I'll tell him myself, thank you, General Linty. <laughs> that is after I take this little beauty for a spin around the block. Shit! General Vaughton's in real danger up there. And if Adams is a traitor, then he'll soon be in control of the SD platform weapons. Which can be aimed. Oh, Jesus. Look! Anywhere. It's your ticket out of here up in smoke, hacker. So what now? We head for the uplink. The orbital transfer station feeds the SD platform directly. It's our only choice. You're kidding, right? That's like 90k through a giant shit heap of hell gas. And I ain't ugly enough to pass for one of them. We have to try. The Earth fleet is coming soon. How do you know this shit? I'm a spy. It's my job. But when the Earth fleet arrives, Adams can just blow it out of the sky. Yan? We head for the remains of the fortress. It's the only way to the uplink, and it'll be a good position to get the lie of the land. How 
come I get to share with the rat? Well, this is familiar. What? Are you falling asleep on top of me? Yeah. We gotta get our gear out of the boat before it all drifts away. Firebase. Specifically a Code 3 3 firebase. The Hellgas use these for major preemptive strikes. We could go around it. We could punch a hole straight through it. Our priority is to make it to the SD platform and stop the Earth fleet from being blown out of the sky. We go round. Uh, Captain Templar, you said earlier that our chances of making it through enemy ranks were somewhere between slim and nil. Perhaps we could improve those odds by creating something of a stir right here. A confused enemy is more easily played, as every assassin knows. So, the mighty brain agrees with the grunt. <laughs> That's a first. Even a monkey will write Shakespeare, given enough time. So you two agree on something. Get over it. We attack the firebase. Let's move out. What the fuck is a Shakespeare? Any of these comms going. Get a message through about Adams. I'll try. Hold it! Take it easy, soldier. Stand back from the equipment! None of you move! Look, you're making a mistake. General Adams! General Adams warned us about you traitors! It's Adams who's the traitor! Don't try it with me! We all know how Vaughn and his rebel bastards took over the SD platform! We're just lucky General Adams is back in charge again. Tell me, soldier, what targets do you think Adams is striking right now? I said don't try it! I ain't in on classified stuff, so you just, you're just wasting your time. Getting real tight, people. Shut up! Nobody's moving until I... Uh, uh. What happened to General Vaughton? Adams put a bullet in his head. <sighs> Find your squad and get out of here. We gotta get going, now. Vorton's dead, Jan. It just changes the equation slightly. He was a friend of yours, too. And we have a job to do. You see, General, everything is going without a hitch. I trust the concerns you voiced about me to our leader have been laid to rest. Scholar Vissari and I are merely concerned with one thing, and that is victory. Even if it means working with sympathetic humans. Even now, the ISA forces are unclear as to my allegiance. It could not be going better. News from below, sir. We have detected some hacking concerning your computer. We believe the source of the intrusion to be Colonel Hackett, the spy. How interesting. I understood we had this spy under arrest. He was sprung, sir, by a three-man unit believed to be acting under the specific command of General Vaughton, which is also assumed to be responsible for a shootout at the docks and the destruction of a Code 3-3 firebase. 
A four-man squad. 33 fire base. Impossible. Templar. General. Vaughton's lapdog. A bit of a handful, but there's no need to concern yourself. Templar squad will be heading for the uplink to get to me up here. Which means they'll be passing the GPS beacon. Have the staff at the beacon prepare for my arrival. I doubt an army of four will make it all the way up here, even if one of them is a Hellgast. As I say, let them know I'm coming down. Trying to give me a heart attack? <laughs> the route ahead is riddled with Hellgast. There's a beacon over on one of the far hills. It's bound to be occupied, but we should be able to get past unseen. A beacon? The SD platforms use them to map out the terrain. Okay, let's move. Wait! What's it saying? Silence! It's General Adams. He's heading for that GPS beacon. Jan, our priority. I know all about our priorities. And right now, that traitor is a realistic target. So let's go take him out. Boom. I'll stick it up your ass and pull the trigger. That's right. Yeah, you and you. What you say? What you say, hot dog? Never here. It was a setup. That's it. Enough! Someone tell that imbecile that it's obvious that I was meant to hear the message. My only crime is that I believed it. Well, I don't trust this gas. Fuck. We got that information about Adam from him, and now I say we ditch him. Don't want to kill him? Fine. But I say we dump him. Cover our backs. We might make it as four, Jan. We won't as three. More equations? I trust him, Jan. I'm not asking you to like him, Rico. Man. But I'm asking you to work with him. For what he's done already. If he's captured, they'll tear him to pieces. Slowly and painfully. I think he'll be fighting in our corner. You like him, huh? We need him, Jan. It's just a calculation of risk. You've changed. Failed! There's only four of the little bastards. I ordered fire to rain down on them troops to lay into them. I set up that encounter on my terms, and they walk away from it unscathed? Trouble, General? I'll get them. Don't worry. No, you won't, General. It seems it takes a Helgen to do a Helgen's job. If it means I have to intercept this rebel band myself, so be it. You just carry on with things over here and await the Earth ships. I will take care of things on the ground. Asari will hear of your, um, efforts, rest assured. I'm sure he will. The uplink's still a long way off. We're gonna be too late. Hacker, 
Do we know when the Earth fleet is arriving? I don't claim to know everything. Where you act is like you know my mother's bra size. Well, I'm guessing. Large. Look here. The missile base. Maybe we could hitch a ride from the Hellgast. Feasibility? It won't work. Now, those bases are too well dug in. We have to find another way. Oh, really? Last time we listened to this guy, we got Helmet Man ripping us a new asshole. We don't have any choice. We're running out of time. We gotta hit the base and pick up any transportation we can find. instigated their downfall and that Scholar Vasari is very pleased with me. <laughs> They've um, blown up the bridge over the 32nd River and uh, cut off the 11th Company from supplies. The uh, 10th Company are not responding to communications. We fear they may be uh, they uh, may be the 10th Company may be what? Maybe uh, lost, sir. Not, not what I wanted to hear at all. Not, not at all. Not. At all. Becca. You know this guy? He's the general of the Third Army. That's all. That's all. I once trusted you with my army, my security. I once trusted you with my life. You would chief a staff for this bastard? Yes. Together, we crushed the enemies of our people. We were invincible. The elite. <laughs> he could have been a general himself a long time ago. Oh, but he changed, developed a bleeding heart became a revolutionary. Yes, it's you who've changed, Lenti. You who sold your soul to the Sari for a taste of power. My family will attend a hero's funeral for me, Hacker. Your mother pretends you're dead already. The rest of your family never even mention your name. Only your brother speaks of your heroism. <clears throat> At least he did, until I had him shot. <laughs> it's 30 minutes by air to the uplink. Let's go. Does it matter what Vasari thinks of you now? Have the whole platform sealed down and double the guard. I'm expecting company. the closest we could get. Adams knows we're on our way. Jan! Jan, when this is over... It's not gonna be over. 
Not for a long time. If ever. What's up with them? Oh, you haven't worked it out. No. What are you tell me? Right. Well, as Special Forces Captain falls in love, he promises her the world. But she has other plans. Nine months later, they meet again, except now the brave Captain's sweetheart is a cold assassin. Trained to kill. Trained to think. Not feel. Act. Not reflect. Oh, she's almost perfect. Although I suspect Captain Templar feels otherwise. You know what? I think you're full of shit. Forms look like up close. Pretty neat. What's that? Parasite craft used to penetrate a target vessel and drop troops. I take it they're expecting company. Yes. Us. Ready, boy? Suppose this to be expected. You would never have been content with Linty's death. The war is over. Without Linty, the attack will come to nothing. But they will be back. Vissari will never give up on Vector. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? They see us as the aggressor. They are fighting to claim what we once stole from them. Fighting to prevent another... <laughs> imperialist ISA attack on their homeland. I cannot stop the Earth fleet now. The Hellgast on board take no notice of me. There's never any pity, no mercy for the, the traitor. You're a fucking dead man, Adams. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> Kill me? <laughs> it won't solve a goddamn thing. You got Lenti, but it wasn't enough, was it? <laughs> no, Templar and his little band of fuck-ups have to come here and save the day. <laughs> if only you could see the visions Vizari has shown me. The power, the lengths to which they are willing to go. They will never stop. They will never be bargained with. If... If only you could see how insignificant this victory of yours is to them. Your friends have been captured. The platform is breaking up. Don't you understand? You don't stand a fucking chance! Flight system failure. 
Refuel line obstructed. We got a problem with the fuel line. I got it. And what do you know about the spec of these craft? Comms are coming back. Get through to them and see what the situation is. And tell them about Adams. First call I'll make. Looks like most of the Earth fleet got through okay. They'll send more forces, won't they? The Hellgast, I mean. Yeah, they will. And we'll be there to meet them.